Welcome to this Internet Geography Revision short covering waves. Waves are a disturbance on the surface of the sea or ocean in the form of a moving ridge or swell. A common misconception is that waves are created by the moon. This is not the case. The moon is responsible for tides. Waves are caused by the energy transfer from wind to the sea. As the wind blows over the surface of the sea, it creates friction forming waves. In deep water, water molecules within a wave move in a circular movement. It is only in shallow areas that the water itself moves forward, which occurs along the coastline where the land meets the sea. The size of a wave depends on several factors. The fetch of a wave is the distance it travels. The greater the fetch, the larger the wave. Wind speed also has a significant effect on the size of waves. The stronger the wind, the larger the wave because of the energy transfer. Finally, wind duration also affects the size of a wave. The longer the wind blows over the sea or ocean, the larger the wave. Waves have several characteristics it is useful to know. The highest part of a wave is called the crest. The lowest surface area of a wave is called the trough. Wavelength is the distance between the crests. Waves have a circular orbit, which becomes elliptical closer to the shore due to friction slowing the base of the wave. As waves move into shallow water, they begin to stack up. As frictional drag with the seabed increases, the base of the wave is slowed down, so the top part is traveling faster, causing the wave to tilt, break, and move towards the shore in the surf zone. The movement of a wave up a beach is called the swash. Backwash is when the wave retreats to the sea under gravity. Constructive waves build beaches. They have a long wavelength and low frequency and are more common in summer than in winter. Constructive waves have a long wavelength and a low frequency, typically 8 to 10 waves per minute. Constructive waves are low and are typically under 1 meter in height. The wavefront is gently sloping and gains little height, breaks and spills onto the beach. Water spreads a long way up the gently sloping beach due to its strong swash and carries material up the beach. The backwash is weaker, resulting in material being transported, being deposited on the beach. Constructive waves are often found in sheltered bays and spits, where they build up sandy beaches. Destructive waves are common during storm conditions. They erode beaches, have a short wavelength and high frequency. They are most common in winter. Destructive waves are higher than constructive waves, typically over one meter in height. Destructive waves have a shorter wavelength than constructive waves. Therefore, they are more frequent often between 10 to 14 waves per minute. Although a destructive wave swash is much stronger than that of a constructive wave, its swash is much weaker than its backwash. This means that these waves can transport beach material back into the sea and lower the height of beaches in winter. The backwash has less time to soak into the sand. As waves continue to hit the beach, there is more running water to transport the material out to sea. As the wave approaches the coast, it gains height and plunges onto a steep beach and does not travel far up it. The force generated by a destructive breaking wave can also erode a headland. You can find out more about waves on internetgeography.net. Please check out the comments to links to more information and quizzes on internet geography. Remember to hit the like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel to receive updates.